all winter on that. We couldn't afford liners, so. Thank you, that's it. Oh, that's it. Here's that. Uh, you know, back when we were, we were younger, this is kind of a new innovation, I think. It makes it a lot easier, but, so you, you make the walls first, and then you freeze them, and then that holds the water in. Correct, yeah, the, so he makes burns in. Here's that's it. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, oh, so yeah. Our school had rings, too, that we would, you know, roller skate in the summer and then the ice skate in the winter. Uh, and they did the same thing. They used a squeegee. And then we, we would go out and volunteer to shovel it. We could, we could skate on it. Right. We, you know, all winter. So, and when you're squeegeeing it, are you, like, I see the, like the Zambonis on the, uh, the hockey rink. They're putting down, like, a little bit of warm water. Do you use warm water behind the squeegee or does it matter? No, he, so yeah, he would bring water from the inside from the, from the tap. So it would be a little bit warmer than... Because you, you have to melt that to get that, 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 that you know, kind of a halfway glass effect. Right, right. That makes sense. So, All right. it, 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 it's not hard, uh, but it's, I mean, it's, it's a big block, huh? That's all right. I got nothing but. I got nothing but time. <laughs> all right, Michael. Great advice. Great hearing from you. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Look it up on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, let's see, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some ice rink advice from Donna in Sonoma, California. Hello, Donna. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Mr. Sherrick. Um, I just want to say I love Coast to Coast. I know all the hosts and all the um, people behind the scenes. Shout out to Donna. And I'm the other Donna. Um, yes. So, my um, tip for you is in... Sonoma County here, I just saw they have an ice skating rink in like the town square. And I thought, you know, how did they do that? And then um, I heard there's um, synthetic ice. Synthetic ice? It's synthetic ice, and they're using it. They um, Last night did their like Christmas show where they turn on the big Christmas tree lights, you know, everybody's there. And the um, rink that they're using, they have like a little performance, like, you know, um, it's a Christmas play on ice kind of thing. Right. Um, but before they did the show with the Christmas tree lighting, they had people renting skates and skating. And there's not snow here, so it's like, what is going on? But apparently, uh, it's called Glyce. Glyce. So, I-C-E. Mm. So it's, a, what I'm thinking is gel, you know. Right, right. But they have to refrigerate it somehow. Maybe they have uh, a refrigeration underneath yeah. the uh, underneath the surface or something. I don't, I don't know. But the way it sounded is like instead of like you having to fill water and freeze it, it's in like gel form. Like I don't know if it's like one of those. I'm thinking like a um, number water beds, the liners. Oh yes, like yes. Fill it with um, gel and. Um, water apparently, because I know um, it's kind of a reverse thing, but uh, you know, you get ice packs that you can buy um, ready made and refreeze them. You right. can make your own. Actually, my pharmacy, they, they used to do the same thing where um, really cheap they would sell them and they were like gel and water or oh, alcohol. Um, right. So that it would be, it would freeze, you know, um, or it would, would freeze, um, but it would be reusable. So apparently it's some kind of gel um, that... And it, it, just, it, it turns into a solid at a fairly warm temperature, I guess. I feel, I'm not sure how they're doing it, but mm. it didn't look like they had like a whole big refrigeration setup. Yeah. And it All right. Like well, drinks. you know, I can understand, I can understand why they would need to do that in a warm place like Sonoma, California, but I don't know if I could, if I could live that down using synthetic ice up here in the Great White North Zone. People will say, that's cheating. That's cheating, yeah. they'll say. Maybe it's a little, <laughs> little tougher than on regular ice. I don't know. It seemed like people were having no problem. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Well, thank you for that. Okay, well, good luck with that. You're doing a wonderful thing. I appreciate it, Donna. Great to hear from you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just talked to Michael in San Antonio. Now that's, oh, it's Mike in Fairbanks, Alaska. Hello, Mike. Ah, wow, hello, Richard. Thank you for putting me on. How do I sound? You sound like a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, you do too. Uh, this story, this is a true story that goes back. Uh, it's the winter of 05, 06, down south of Los Angeles International Airport in a small town called Rondale.
close to Manhattan okay. Beach. Uh, I'm a, I was a framing contractor, and uh, everybody would meet at my place, the construction yard, after work, and we'd fire up the campfire that we had there, have a few quarters or Budweiser beers there, and then everybody would go home after we unwound. Well, I'm leaning up against the campfire, warming my back, and uh, I had, uh, I think there's four of my friends there, and uh, I, I'm talking to them, and two are talking to each other, and I'm talking to the other two, and I happen to catch something out of the right corner of my eye, out of my peripheral vision, and I'm facing the ocean, sort of. I'm two miles from the beach, but I'm facing, uh, I'm looking out at the northwest, and I see the thing at the corner of my eye, and I look to the right up in the sky, towards LAX, and I see this, this giant plane traveling at enormous speed. I would say, I would say at least three to four times the normal speed of a jet. And it was, it was probably at, I estimate, 40 to 50,000 feet. And it was a huge flying wing shape, kind of like a B-2 bomber, but way bigger. And it had a scallop, round scallop trailing edge. And it had each, each wing left and right, each wing had, I would say, three radius scalloped edges coming to a pinpoint. And each wing had an oblong hole right through the wing, one for each wing, left and right. And I mean, this thing was ripping. It was going so fast, I couldn't believe it. Um, I yelled out at my friends, and going, look at this, you guys, look up here. And um, Corey, Corey didn't look, Corey was talking to, uh, I think it was my son, but Shane and RT, they looked up and they were like, what the heck? And this thing was coming over the top of us. I could not believe how fast it was. And it was, I could see the sky right through the holes. We could see the, the blue through the, through the wow. holes. Did it make any sound? Yeah, and the plane was, the plane kind of looked like a wispy, cloudy white. And as it traveled over us, and I'm, I'm talking, no more than four seconds, three or four seconds from the right to the left. And as it, as it was heading towards Catalina Island, all of a sudden it just went blink and disappeared. My like, word. Like, yeah, like somebody had turned the switch on or turned the switch off. And man, I looked down at Shane and Rod and you guys see that? And they go, what the heck? And they, they, they saw it. So I know I wasn't crazy. But, uh, Did it make any sound? Did it make any sound? No, no, it, it was too high up. It, it didn't uh, leave a, a, uh, a contrail at all. It was just moving. It, it was moving like a missile. And I think that's how come I saw it. Because, I, you know, being, being by LAX, you see jets all the time. Sure. And, and uh, but yeah, sure, it, it, uh, just as it hit the Pacific Ocean, it was probably over Catalina at that angle. And there was nothing in the sky, no clouds. It was perfectly blue, clear winter night, uh, winter uh, afternoon, and uh, it just flat disappeared in front of our eyes. And I kept looking. I looked back up there. No, it wasn't there. It was gone. Remarkable. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's. Uh, uh, I've never heard uh, someone describe a UAP that way. It sounded like an airplane, really, with wings, fixed yeah. wings, right? Yeah, it was a flying wing, it was, but it was enormous. And since then, I, I've been so fascinated with that. I, I went on, I, been, I went on the internet, and Boeing has plasma injection technology. And if you go there, you can see a picture of a shadow that supposedly where a plane was sitting, and it was casting a shadow, but there, in the shape of a flying wing, and but no plane. And it was inside of a giant hangar. It's there now. If you go on, go on the internet, you can pick it up. I, I've got it on a screenshot of it. But also, I saw a Boeing commercial. It's not on, on TV anymore. It shows a outline of a flying wing traveling across the ocean. And you can see the water rippling on the surface of the ocean. But there's nothing there. But it is in the shape of a flying wing. And I kept telling them, there it is, there it is, there's the shape. That's what so you what saw. I saw. Okay. And what I saw was enormous, Richard. It was like, 
Oh, it, was, it, it had to be, it had to be five times the size of a normal jet. It was, it was huge. My word, my word. But anyway, All right. I just wanted to that's a, you that's that. a fantastic story. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. All right, uh, let's see. We have time, I think, for one more anyway. Let's say hi to, oh, another ice rink uh, tip from Jeff in San Diego. Hello, Jeff. Hello. Uh, okay, three things. First of all, tell Ian Punny he's going to be the first one to eat by the, <laughs> by the uh, alien. He always says that Canadians are going to be the first one to eat, but he's going to be the first on the menu. Uh, and then uh, the other thing is, is that... Uh, uh, being in uh, being Los Angeles, uh, down in the Baja, uh, California, they used to have chupacabra come up and, uh, and get all the fish uh, uh, grinding, and uh, you know they they and they profess to it. But the the third the tip was is that with a I'm just a ca uh, ca uh, uh, carpenter, and uh, all you have to do is, is Ian, uh, Ian. I had him on my mind because I wanted you to get back at him for <laughs> putting on the menu first. But anyways. Uh, but you just dig a you just dig a little bit of hole. You can do it by hand, and then you use some thick of mill visqueen and the line it, and and you fill it with water, and then you get a, a large uh, metal bar, and you screed it, and uh, you smooth it out, and uh, and that's all you, that's all you have to do. You get that six mill of visqueen, and the water won't leak through, and now you just uh, over line it, and, and you just have, you don't have to dig very deep, like uh, six inches, you know. It's that, you know, and then, right. uh, that, and that's it, brother. Well, I appreciate it. All right. Yeah, because you don't have to go through a lot of, uh, you don't have to get a Zamboni or anything. You just get a large uh, metal <laughs> bar and just screen it. I understand. Okay, thank you. Getting some great uh, ice tips here from Southern California. Uh, can we work in Teresa in Houston? Teresa, hello. Welcome. Good evening. You're going to be our last call. We've got about two minutes. I lived in a very tiny place called Prince Edward Island, Canada. Oh, I know it well. My dad was a base controller. And he always got the fire department to renew their water. It was very important to renew their water. And we all knew that was not really what needed to be done. But he would get the fire department to come down with their big truck and lay their hoses on the, the snow that was already prepared. Right. And even lines had been painted. A blue line for all the hockey players at one end. That's it, yep. Free skating for us bigger skaters and just recreational skaters. And then he would get the fire department to come down and empty all their hoses and all their tanks into this place when the weather was just right and it would freeze over and it made the most perfect ice. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, yes. Prince Edward Island. I, I honeymooned in Prince Edward Island. Oh, years ago. wonderful. There you go. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful island. Wow. Well, thank you so much. We were at, we were certainly at Anna Green Gables. Yes. My, my, uh, my lovely bride, the mighty Aphrodite, uh, loves that story. Well, thank you so much, Teresa. Thank you all for calling in. And uh, for George Norrie, George Knapp, Lisa Lyons, Stephanie Smith, Tom Danheiser, Dan Galanti, Donna Walker, Ryan Stacy, and Chris Burroughs, I'm Richard Serrett. Thank you for your ears and your voices, your beautiful voices. Until tonight, so long for now.
Sometimes, love can be deadly. The Crazy in Love podcast digs into real-life stories of relationships that took a gruesome turn. Each week, exploring new case about murder in the name of love. She was obsessed. She was a stalker. She wouldn't take no for an answer. Overkill is an outward manifestation. The highest level of anger a human being can actually achieve. Listen to Crazy in Love on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Brought to you by DuckDuckGo. Protect your privacy online for free with DuckDuckGo. The holidays are around the corner, and there's never been a better time to donate your car to Cars for Kids. Donating is really easy. Just give them a call, enter your donation online, and schedule your free pickup at the time that works for you. As soon as the same day. By giving to Cars for Kids, the gift of your car will get you so much in return. A maximum tax deduction and a voucher for a three-day hotel stay. And the satisfying feeling of doing a good deed. Just call 1-877-CARS-FOR-KIDS or... Go online to carsforkids.org and remember, that's cars with a K. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. <laughs> I am Dean Sharp, the house was for a custom home builder, custom home designer. It is just about 6 o'clock. That means for the next two hours, I'm going to be here with you as a friendly voice in your morning and your personal guide to turning your ordinary house into something extraordinary. We're doing our holiday gift guide this weekend, and it all gets started in just a couple of minutes, so stay tuned and welcome home. This is KFI and KOST HD2 Los Angeles, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. More stimulating talk. No login required. KFI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Oh well, no safari again this year. I'm Mark Ronner, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Starting Monday, travel into the U.S. from South Africa and seven other African countries will be restricted because of the Omicron COVID-19 variant. The decision was made after the World Health Organization named Omicron a variant of concern at a special meeting yesterday. Omicron uh, B11529 is named as a variant of concern because it has some concerning properties. Um, this variant has a large number of mutations. And some of these mutations have some worrying characteristics. Dr. Maria Van Kirkhove with the WHO says the variant was discovered a few weeks ago and scientists are working on ways to stop its spread. The CDC says no cases of the Omicron variant have been reported in the U.S. COVID-19 vaccine makers say they're working on ways to provide protection against the new variant. Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson say they're working to adapt their vaccine. And Moderna says it's testing three booster shot options that are specifically for Omicron. Fire agencies in Southern California are on high alert. High winds have prompted local fire departments to station strike teams in high-risk areas in L.A. County and the Inland Empire. CAL FIRE says it's positioned its state-of-the-art firefighting helicopters at strategic airports around the state for faster response. The L.A. County Office of Emergency Management says it's also on high alert because of the recent destructive Santa Ana wind events. The National Weather Service says over the last few days, winds have hit as high as 50 miles an hour with gusts of up to 74 miles an hour. Steve Gregory, KFI News. The South Coast Air Quality Management District has issued a mandatory prohibition rather, on indoor and outdoor wood burning in much of the Southland due to a forecast of high air pollution in the area. The residential wood burning ban extends through Tuesday night for all those in the South Coast Air Basin, including the non-desert portions of Los Angeles, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties, and all of Orange County. The order does not apply to mountain communities above 3,000 feet or the high desert. A group of people have robbed a Home Depot in Lakewood. L.A. County sheriffs say the guys went to the tool department of the store and took a bunch of merchandise. The guys then ran off and got into waiting cars. I think it was hammer time. A smash-and-grab robbery crew hit the Bottega Veneta on Melrose. The robbery happened around 8.20 last night. The LAPD was on a citywide tactical alert to try and get these flash mob-style robberies to stop. That alert has since ended. The average price of a gallon of self-serve regular gasoline in Los Angeles County has gone up to a new record for the third time in four days to $4.71. That's $1.56 more per gallon than this time last year. In Orange County, the average price is $4.69 a gallon, and it's $4.64 in the Inland Empire. Property Shark study has found that 70% of zip codes with the priciest real estate are in California. No state in the U.S. can compare to California in terms of expensive zip codes or expensive real estate for that matter. Researcher Eliza Thies says all the zip codes in California that made the list are in the Bay Area and Southern California, 
New York State came in second on the list. It has more than 50 fewer expensive areas in California. The UPS, or rather USPS, says kids and the young at heart have until December 10th to send their wish list to Santa Claus at the North Pole this year. For everyone else, the Postal Service advises people using first-class mail service for greeting cards and packages to have items in the mail by December 17th. Malls across SoCal are expected to be extra busy this weekend. South Coast Plaza's Deborah Van Downing says with supply chain issues, many people want to do their shopping in person and guarantee they get their hands on what they want. It's created a little bit of a frenzy in the shopping world, but it's exciting. She says some retailers have airshipped their products and aren't facing major shortages. A survey by the International Council of Shopping Centers has found that 76% of consumers plan to head to a shopping center or mall over Thanksgiving weekend. In Costa Mesa, Blake Trolley, KFI News. And one of Broadway's best-known lyricists and composers has died. Stephen Sondheim was 91. Sondheim won multiple Grammy Awards, an Oscar, and a Pulitzer Prize for drama. For more than six decades, his music has played through iconic Broadway theaters. Now let's check your traffic. We have a car fire in Colton on the 215 southbound past the 10 freeway. It's over the right shoulder area, but as the fire crews arrive on scene here, they'll likely take away at least one of those right lanes. Watch for some minor delays at this point as you pass by safety to the left side. Same situation in San Dimas, east side of the 210, just past San Dimas Avenue. It's a crash car fire being cleaned up over on the right shoulder area, and just some minor slowing passing by. Downtown LA, the 10 east at the 110 freeway as they stall in the collector lanes. They're heading to the 110 south. And East LA, 710 South Adams 60, reports of some debris in the middle lane. No backup from that, just watch out as you head through the area. KFI and the sky helps get better faster. I'm Robert Bucky. During the holidays, we tend to do more online shopping. A lot more online shopping. Gifts, travel, but more online time can also mean that more of your personal information is out there getting exposed. Here's where LifeLock comes in. LifeLock is here to protect your identity, my identity, during the holiday season and all year round. And if you do become a victim of identity theft, a dedicated U.S.-based identity restoration specialist will work to fix it. Now, no one can prevent all identity theft or monitor every transaction at every business. But with LifeLock by Norton, you have identity theft protection serious protection. Join LifeLock today. Save up to 25% off your first year. Call 800-LIFELOCK, promo code handle. Visit LifeLock.com, promo code handle, 25% off. That's 800-LIFELOCK, promo code handle, or visit LifeLock.com. Once again, that's promo code handle for 25% off at LifeLock.com. Southland weather from KFI, sunny today and 70 at the beaches, 78 in LA and OC, 80 in the valleys and upper 70s to low 80s in the Inland Empire. Should have high 70s tomorrow through Tuesday. Right now it's 50 in your Belinda, 47 in Carson, 46 in Irvine, 49 in Huntington Beach. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Mark Rocker. <laughs> matters 
most. And a friendly voice in your morning as you take on the noble work of turning your ordinary health into something really extraordinary. Uh, the team is all here. Sam is on the board, doing what he does, keeping the trains running on time. Misty, the boss, is in the house. She is standing by uh, to take your calls. Uh, if and when we go to the phones, if I, if I make it that far into the show this morning, uh, my best buddy in the, the whole world is uh, is looking at me with, with mercy in her eyes. Uh, it's just been a that long week. Uh, Christina, co-founder of House Whisper, you know her, you love her. Uh, and Mark Rodner is on the news desk. Good morning, Mark. Making a very special guest appearance at this Amish hour of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> now, how do you people do this? <laughs> I'm not sure we do, <laughs> honestly, right? Today, I'm not sure we do. Good but, to know. Uh, hey, what did, what did you do wrong to end up uh, <laughs> here with us? It's the trial by fire. Saturday. It's always trial by fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, glad to have you on board. Uh, we'll try not to crash the train. Yeah, try not to wake me up, it. okay? Yeah, I will, I will. Well, I Keep the noise down. Very little. There is very little risk that anything I'm going to say is going to wake anyone up. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Uh, however, let's be honest. This is the weekend. This is the weekend following Thanksgiving, if you didn't already notice that. I know everybody knows that. Everybody's like, come on, can we go sleep in today? It's been a week. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun this weekend. Both today and tomorrow's show is uh, all about our... 2021 version of the now legendary House Whisper Holiday Gift Guide. We've put together a great gift guide for this year for you. Uh, this is the weekend where it's off. Tend to turn towards the, hey, let's get those Prezies ready. Uh, Prezies. I said Prezies. You did. I'm trying to convert energy. Uh, now that I explained it, it didn't work, did it? No. Uh, anyway, we had a lot of fun putting the gift, the gift guide to, together. It's ready for you. You can follow along if you'd like, uh, because a lot of the things, you know, and believe me, I'm going to paint some uh, lovely word pictures for you describing many of the products and items on the gift guide. But, uh, let's face it, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. Misty uh, just sent me a note here saying that uh, it's everywhere, apparently. The gift guide is everywhere. Uh, it is on our Facebook, on our Instagram, uh, links to it on our Twitter. It is on our little corner of the KFI website. And so, uh, at home with Dean, that's where you have to go, and you will find a downloadable PDF of the Holiday Gift Guide ready and waiting for you. Everything you need is there except me telling you why these things are uh, great and uh, important and, uh, and lovely gifts to give. And as per usual, I have uh, I've run the entire spectrum this year of uh, gifts, qualitatively and uh, and uh, categorically. Uh, qualitatively, in that you know we got some st stocking stuffers in here because everybody needs those. Uh, so we have some uh, very low dollar items that aren't going to hurt your budget, and we've got some items that you know for those of you who are thinking, no, no, this is the year. This is the year I'm digging deep, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a present to that one person who means so much to me, and you know what, it's going to be something of uh, value. We've got those two. So I don't want anybody, you know, reacting to sticker shock. Most everything falls somewhere in between, but we've got them all. Uh, they're all here. They're all ready to go. Here's what you need to know about the gift gift. Uh, here are the ground rules. Uh, number one. It is personally curated by yours truly, the house whisperer. Then we don't phone things in every day, right? We don't have a, uh, a massive staff uh, doing our dirty work for us. So I am responsible in its entirety for this gift guide. Uh, but because of that, it is both trustworthy, creative, and fun, like me. Uh, number two, it has tools on it. Of course it has tools, but it's not all tools. Why? Life is more than tools. That's just the truth. Uh, and there is nothing tactical on the list. This always disappoints someone who's listening. Oh, come on! Oh, grow up. Uh, because, you know what? 
We don't need that kind of stuff to make us feel tough and uh, and uh, and worthy. And we're not in a militia. Also, there is nothing camo on the list. Um, because if you are in a militia, uh, the rest of us want to keep our eyes on you. <laughs> so I don't want you wearing camo clothes blending into the back. I want to know where you are at all times. Uh, thirdly, fourthly, uh, most items on the list are for good little girls and good little boys alike. And, uh, there are no ties or socks on the list. But if there were, you can bet your sweet fippy they would be awesome. Uh, because everything on the list has got just that edge to it. That's why people love the gift guide. And guess what? When we come back, we are going to dive in. Also, though, today, I'm not going to neglect you and take in some calls. So, again, uh, for a Saturday morning, if you're one of those 12 listeners of ours who are actually awake and uh, you've got something going on with your home, give me a call. Happy to take the call. We can talk about what's going on with your home. Hopefully, I can help. The number to reach me, 833-2-ASK-DEAN. 833, the number 2 Asking, give us a call, jump into the queue, and uh, when the time comes in just a bit, uh, you know, we'll go to the phones and we can talk about what's going on with your home. All right, got so much more to come. I'm so glad you joined me this morning. Your home with Dean Sharp, the house with for Mark Ron. A federal appeals court has temporarily blocked an order that all California prison workers must be vaccinated against the coronavirus or have a religious or medical exemption. At least one person was struck and injured when shots were fired at a shopping mall in Tacoma, Washington. No suspects in custody. And a Saudi-led coalition fighting Yemen's Houthi rebels had launched airstrikes targeting the country's capital, Sana'a. Got some trouble on the 10? We'll tell you about it after the break. Your dream kitchen? Uh, what's your first move going to be? I think it should be a totally free in-showroom console at the kitchen store. It means you're going to get two things right out of the gate. The creativity, the wisdom of an expert kitchen designer, and you get flooded with inspiration in the kitchen store's 7,000 square foot cabinet design showroom. The kitchen store is right off the of 405 in Culver City. For more than 50 years, it's the best place for kitchen cabinets in all of SoCal. State-of-the-art computer design, famous cash financing, no payments, no interest for a full year. Pricing that beats the big box centers to so start your new kitchen right. Set up your free console today by dialing 310-KITCHEN. That's 310-KITCHEN. And check out the kitchen store on the web at 310kitchen.com. Let's check a stolen pen. MLA, the pen eastbound the connector to the 110 south fell in the collector lane there, right? If you approach the transition road, so watch for some minor slowing along that the collector, not really affecting the main line. That's the good news there. West Covina on the westbound side of the 10 at Vincent's. We had a crash in the carpool lane. It looks like it's over on the shoulder area at this point. So no lanes blocked, but you do want to be extra careful as you pass by the scene. And San Dimas, the cleanup continues with the car fire. 210 eastbound at San Dimas Avenue. That's over on the right shoulder as well. Again, just the cleanup continues there. Stay to the left side. KFI in the sky. Help get you there faster. I'm Robert Bucky. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Bags under your eyes? That's junk sleep. And Mattress Firm can help. Shop the Black Friday sale and save up to $500 on top-rated brands you'll love, like Sleepy's. Plus, pair the mattress of your dreams with a free adjustable base with qualifying purchase. Fever is the leading symptom of COVID and the flu. And the only way to reliably detect it is with an accurate thermometer. Be vigilant and be accurate with the Exergen Temporal Scanner, whose accuracy has been proven in more than 100 clinical studies. Don't rely on non-contact thermometers. They are proven to be inaccurate and will not reliably detect a fever that might mean COVID. Be sure to seek medical advice at the first sign of fever. Learn more at exergen.com. Hey parents, here's some good news for America's future. Kids ages five to 11 are now eligible for a COVID vaccine. That means all those future CEOs and artists, world-class chefs and sports stars, the engineers and the innovators are eligible for a vaccine that can help protect their future. And it's specifically formulated just for them. Find vaccines near you at vaccines.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. What's all the buzz about nasal irrigation and navage, navage, navage? And should I try it? Here's the science. Airborne germs invade through your nose. It's the body's air filter for trapping allergens and viruses. When your nose gets clogged, it's less effective and germs multiply. 
Eventually, your immune system can get overwhelmed and you get sick. Nasal irrigation is an effective, all-natural way to clean your nose. It's not a drug, it's more like plumbing. Saline goes in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out the other nostril, flushing out mucus and germs. I'm Martin Hoke, and I invented Navage to make cleaning your nose easy. It's the world's only nose cleaner with powered suction. Navage pulls out the bad stuff so you can breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier. At Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, Bed Bath, and Walmart. Or go to Navage.com for a free gift with purchase. Over 2 million sold. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. Hey, parents, here's some good news for America's future. Kids ages 5 to 11 are now eligible for a COVID vaccine. That means all those future CEOs and artists, the world-class chefs and the sports stars, the engineers and the innovators, they're all eligible for a vaccine that can help protect their future. And it's specifically formulated just for them. Find vaccines near you at vaccines.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Looking for the perfect gift? Get them a shirt from Untuck It. Now you can get up to 50% off with the Black Friday sale happening right now at Untuck It. Untuck It shirts are designed to be worn untucked. They're the easiest way to keep them looking sharp and feeling comfortable. You can't go wrong with our super soft flannels and wrinkle-free shirts, so don't miss it. Up to 50% off for a limited time only. Find the perfect gift for every guy in your list at UntuckIt.com or 80-plus Untuck It stores. Untuck It. Shirts designed to be worn untucked. We survived winter in Siberia, my mother told me, by literally eating dirt. Hello, I'm John Acoyan, owner of Ruder Hero Plumbing. I can't imagine living like that, but dirt, my mom told me, had nutrients. We are so fortunate to live in the world's richest country, but every day children go hungry. At Ruder Hero Plumbing, we want to help, so we're bringing back our Hero Helps program. Before COVID-19, we fed the homeless, adopted families, and cleaned the bay. But our most popular program was handing out canned goods. Ruder Hero will once again hand out food with no questions asked. Simply pull up in your car and we'll help your family. Go to RuderHero.com slash Hero Help for the date and location. If you want to donate canned goods, call us at 866-DREAM77 for a Ruder Hero plumbing location nearest you. Thank you. Hey, Simi Valley, Tuesday, December 7th is the grand opening of Catalina Paints Simi, 2050 First Street. Drop in for a free 20-ounce paint sample and a free brush and meet your new paint experts at Catalina Paints Simi Valley. Radio advertising can connect your business with holiday shoppers wherever they go. Use iHeart Ad Builder to create an affordable custom radio ad right on your phone. Just click, listen, approve, then hear it on the radio. Create your customized ad today at iHeartAdBuilder.com. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to KFIAM640.com slash rules. We know you listen to KFI, but when it's that time of year, you can hear your favorite Christmas songs right now on the official holiday music station, Crunch 103.5. All your favorite holiday songs. Coast 103.5, your home for the holidays. Coast 103.5. KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk. KFI Steve Sharp, the house whisperer. You are listening to Home, where every week we help you better understand that place where you live. Hey, in just a bit, we're going to be going to the phone. Uh, I am going to uh, give you the number one more time. The number to reach me at 833-2-ASK-DEAN. 833-THE-NUMBER-2-ASK-DEAN. Uh, we're doing our holiday gift guide this morning. And uh, 
Are we ready to go? It's been one of those mornings. I, you know, I got in here and uh, I, the uh, very first thing I did, and when I sat down, uh, I spilled my coffee twice. And uh, so, Ford just saying, it's going to be one of those mornings. One of those mornings where we have to rise above. And uh, hopefully, technically speaking, we can work out the fact that my mic is sounding a little odd today. Uh, let's dive in, shall we? Okay. We'll get this stuff worked out in the time comes. Number one on the gift guide. First and foremost. Uh, I've been very, very impressed with uh, padlocks this year. And I find that, uh, that there are some padlocks on the market that...